So I have roasted chicken that we actually grew from meat chickens. So we uh, grew them, butchered them. This is our meat chicken. So I roasted up one and this is about one and a half. I roasted up another one to uh, freeze dry other chicken. But anyway, now I am boiling the pasta for the chicken Alfredo. And I'm not cheating, but I am going to be using just regular canned pasta sauce instead of making it from scratch. Although, who are we kidding? We all know that pasta Alfredo sauce from scratch is way better than the canned stuff. But we do with what we can. I've cut up the chicken to make it smaller pieces um, just to make sure that it'll freeze dry better and faster. Better, faster, stronger. We're making it just like we would make Alfredo sauce for a regular dinner. So all right, I am so happy this cooked the exact right amount. I have all four trays filled here. I am so happy. Look at this. It's beautiful. So at this point, you can put it straight into the freeze dryer and let it go. Or um, you can put it into the freezer. I have these um, 3D printed dividers. We 3D printed it here with our 3D printer. They are the best thing. If you know someone with a 3D printer or can purchase them online, or you have your own, of course, then I highly recommend these because they stack so nicely in your freezer. I like to pre-freeze most things if I can, just because it cuts down the freezing time on the freeze dryer. Look at how beautiful this is. Yeah, buddy. There it is. The next meal is going to be chicken fried rice. I have uh, cooked all of the rice that I'm going to need, and now it's gonna go into the fridge for a day. Day old rice is better, but it's also because I don't have any more trays for the freeze dryer, so it's gonna wait a day or two. My chicken fried rice will look different than like something you'll get from like a Chinese restaurant or something. It's way less soy sauce, um, you know, way less oil, stuff like that, but it's still delicious. So this is what's great about making it yourself, you know, stuff like that, so you can make it exactly how you want. And this is gonna freeze dry beautifully. Let's see it on the trays. All right, here it is, all four trays. They look thick, but it will freeze dry just beautifully, just like this. Yeah, into the freezer you go. A good estimate at this point is that each tray will be one meal for the whole family. We're going to have to really, um, you know, experiment with that a little bit. Maybe one and a half tray, something like that. But if it's one tray per meal, per family, you know, maybe with like a side dish of vegetables or something and some bread, that could make a meal, right? Um, our kids don't eat very much right at this second. So this is what I'm estimating with these meals. So this is four meals right here and everything else I'm making, four meals. You mix and match, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, there you go, my pretties. In you go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Continue. Let's do this. 20 hours later. First dish is done. Go into the defrost. Come on, I just, I said defrost, buddy. You got this, you got this, you can do it. Switch gears, good job. Oh, always gotta press that continue. Okay. This is fascinating to me. I've never done pasta before and it just comes out, you know, I mean, it's freeze dried. It's just so cool. Like I could, it's like eating dry pasta, you know, but this is freeze dried instant and you can see the um, sauce on it. So cool. So this is the size Mylar bag that I have been using. Um, and this is, I think a two gallon, I think this is one, I don't know. Anyway, so I decided to use a little bit bigger and do one tray per bag, just because they're a little bit bulkier and because this is gonna be one meal per family. <laughs> one meal for our family per meal. So for our whole family, it'll be one bag per meal. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. There we have it, four meals ready to go. Freeze-dried meal number two, heading into the freeze-dryer, chicken fried rice. <laughs> Come on, there you go. Okay. <sighs> Continue. Yeah. Double check. Okay. The next meal is beef and spaghetti. All right, the uh, spaghetti is done. I did use a canned spaghetti sauce just to make it a quicker process this time. Now, as far as the beef goes, this is the first time I've ever freeze drying beef, but I'm gonna cook off as much fat as I possibly can. That's what I'm doing right now. And then 
So I'm taking really hot water and I'm kind of washing the beef to get even more fat off to try to get as much off as possible. Mm. You know what's great about all these meals? I had everything right here at home because these are meals we eat on a regular basis. So I had all the sauces, I have all the pastas, I have all the chicken, you know, frozen chicken, canned chicken. I have um, frozen beef, all these things that I normally had, I just made it in a much more bulk. All right, here we go. Here's all the spaghetti with the meat and it's going in the freezer. Look, look, here's some, here's some leftover in here. That's what, that's your dinner, enjoy. 20-ish hours later. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> it is beautiful. We're in the checking phases, but man, look how gorgeous this is. Everything is feeling nice and perfectly dry. No cold spots. Ah, I'm so thrilled with this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's feeling great, nice and dry. You know how you have an idea and it just pans out and then it comes out even better than you thought? This is the, that's how I'm feeling about the chicken fried rice right now. Like I knew it was gonna come out good, but like, I'm just like stoked about how well it came out. Eating a pea and you're eating a carrot? You crunchy? Mmm. <laughs> I like it. Crunchy. I like it. Four more meals ready to go. And now it is time for the spaghetti to go in to the freezer. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. And we're back at about 25-ish hours later. And here's the finished product. It is crunchy. It is snappy. Oh, man, it's beautiful. So the way that I check these, because they're in such little chunks like this, so I just try to break open as much as I can, but you know, like these really big pieces, check for cold spots, things like that. But look at that, four meals here. One tray is a meal for all four of us for one meal. So in one week, I created 12 meals with my freeze dryer. I created chicken fried rice, beef spaghetti, chicken Alfredo, now I have tons of ingredients and I have easy, quick freeze dried meals that I did within a week with using ingredients that I already had around the house. I didn't have to buy anything extra. So I've used my preps to actually create meals to be preserved later. So it all kind of works in a nice little <laughs> habitat circle of preparedness. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything I've done, let me know down, down in the comments and let me know what else you'd like me to freeze dry. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.